reading out people's deepest, darkest secrets was quite a fad. It wasn't just you that that happened. No. Um, years earlier, um, God, I can't remember what it was. I guess early 90s sometime, um, the guys who were shooting the um, tech films, they're usually, their term is cine, meaning they're the cinematographers and that whole group of people were all put on a boot camp program, which was like a Navy SEAL style brutal boot camp. They would get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I think they would have oatmeal if even anything to eat. And then they would be out there um, and they did all kinds of running and jumping and jumping in the mud and crawling up things and strenuous, strenuous physical, physical work. The real point was to get them to be a team because they weren't being a team and they weren't blah, blah, blah. And at the end of that whole thing that went on, all their confessions and everything they were doing write-ups on that they had done were read out to each other and they had long discussions about um, what they had done. It, he, I never saw Tom Cruise in f &E exactly, but um, I do know that um, I was part of a project that when he got married to Nicole Kidman, that um, Jeff Baker and Ted Horner went to go, he, they were the photographers for that wedding up in Telluride, and um, myself, Roberta Lance, Zona, I think we were at, yeah, Annie, no, any, I don't remember. Um, there were several of us, and we were on putting together photo albums together off the wedding and framed photos of the wedding, and this went on for days, actually. It was a lot of film that came back. So as a gift for Tom Cruise marrying Nicole Kidman, mm -hmm. Sea Org members have to make him a wedding album. Well, he paid, basically the way it worked is, um, it wasn't a gift as such. Um, he paid for the raw materials. He paid for the film, he paid for the chemistry, he paid for the paper. He paid for the raw materials and then we were the workforce and the reason we were told that we were doing it is for security. The real thing about the whole thing is, um, there was a lot of lost sleep over that. A lot sleep, sleep of lost sleep. Sleep again? Yes. To work for Tom Cruise. To work for Tom Cruise, and I'm sure that Tom Cruise doesn't have a clue that that happened, but it did, because all the film came back, and there was a ton of film, so then all the film gets processed, and everything gets printed, then photo albums gets picked, and then it goes back and forth, and this went on for like a week to two weeks, and then on top of that, a custom-made photo album that was hand-stitched in leather was made, um, that was created, and that was... Enormous. I mean, I would say that photo album alone was over 20 to 25 hours of labor. From the point of picking the photos to the story to the... I can't remember those captions. But anyway, it was a major... I mean, the photo album was this thick. Brown, beautiful, handcrafted leather. And how many hours sleep did you get a night during the Tom Cruise I would say maybe album four. Saga? Hmm? Maybe four. Four hours of sleep, day after day after day. Yeah. In the end, we did get a little bit of sleep, and then it came back down, and then we did even more. So it was, you know, it was in and out. But it was a mammoth evolution. I never saw him much when he was on the end base. Mm. Um, and as far as I know, I know that my husband went and set up the AV, the audio visio, in-house theater and all that kind of stuff in his home in Los Angeles. I see. That's, I think, yes, I think he had a home in Bethlehem Hills. Yeah, back in the 90s. Yeah.
forced to go see a Tom Cruise movie when it first came out to bump up the stats of the movie? Um, in the beginning, um, everyone was sent, specifically the big Sea Org bases, like the Florida one, the Big Blue, and then the Int Gold base. Um, and in the beginning, we were told that Tom Cruise bought our tickets mm. as a gift. Um, as the years went along, um, we were all invited to go see it. And because it was Tom Cruise, it was the same with John Travolta. When those movies came out, we all should go see them. But you couldn't just go see them. I mean, you had to have your stats up. You had to be in no trouble. Like, the list of all the things you had to have in place in order to go was fairly long. So not everybody would go. There's a lot of movies I didn't see because I didn't go.